Is the Federal Reserve on the verge of abandoning its 2% inflation target? One of the world's most renowned economists thinks so. And this could be very positive for precious metals. Economic uncertainty means you have to keep up with what's happening. Make sure you subscribe and we'll keep you in the know. A year and a half ago, as high inflation churned through the economy, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell said the following, The historical record cautions strongly against prematurely loosening policy. We must keep at it until the job is done. From March 2022 through July 2023, the Fed raised interest rates by 525 basis points. That's the fastest pace of rate increases in 40 years. Despite all the tightening, inflation has remained remarkably stubborn. Last December, the core consumer price index finally drifted below 4% for the first time in 31 months, coming in at 3.9%. But its rate of decline has been at a snail's pace ever since. As of last month, core CPI had dropped only as far as 3.8%, still nearly twice the Fed's official 2% target inflation rate. In the run-up to the Fed's March policy meeting, concerns were growing that persistent inflation and a tight labor market might prompt officials to back away from earlier projections of several rate cuts in 2024. Instead, they concluded that meeting by reiterating their plans for three quarter point rate cuts before the year is out. And Fed Chair Jerome Powell underscored those plans in his post meeting press conference, going as far as to suggest that policymakers now are okay with taking their time in bringing inflation back down to 2%. Powell has surprised observers when he said the central banks are already planning to hit the brakes on quantitative tightening. The general sense of the committee is that it will be appropriate to slow the pace of runoff fairly soon. Renowned economist Mohammed El Aryan thinks this unexpected wave of Fed dovishness may telegraph a big change in how the central bank looks at inflation targets. We may well look back on this week as the week in which central banks stepped away from a very strict inflation target to a much broader concept of an inflation target. In L. Arian's view, the Fed has been left with a choice accept modestly higher inflation or push the economy into recession by keeping monetary policy in restrictive territory. He says it appears the Fed has chosen to accept higher inflation. The implications for precious metals could be significant. Reducing rates during periods of elevated inflation reduces real yields. Lower yields tend to mean dollar weakness, which traditionally strengthen gold and silver. J.P. Morgan strategist Gregory Shearer recently projected, the Fed cutting cycle and falling U.S. real yields will once again become the mono driver behind gold's breakout rally later in 2024. How high does J.P. Morgan think gold will go. The managing director at J.P. Morgan said, we believe that $2,500 is a possibility. We have heard from Jerome Powell over and over again that the Federal Reserve will not abandon the 2% inflation target. And yet, here we are with them saying they're going to do exactly that. It almost seems surreal. This could rekindle price pressures, but on the other hand, 
This could be significant for precious metals. That's why I suggest you take the time to learn more about what's really going on in the economy by attending our exclusive one-on-one -on -one web conference at AugustaPreciousMetals.com slash webconference.